Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reacting to episode 2 of Second Chance the series. So in the last episode, we were introduced to every single one of the characters in this new series. And from what I can tell, we are going to be dwelling into some of the emotional aspects of these characters. Specifically, like with Tongfa and Paper, like with their relationship, and, and then on the sidelines, we're also going to be having Chris and Gino's storyline, which we met them, but we have yet to see the two of them interact more than just the bullying instance that happened in the bathroom. Oh, and also, we saw a bit of Nier's storyline, which it looks like he's going to be having a hard time because, one, he was dealing with the bullies in the school, and then he also has a little bit of a storyline with him in the cafe that he works at. So we'll just have to see how that and everything else is going to be playing out. So without further ado, let's get right into the reaction of episode 2 of Second Chance. Yay! What do you want? This part still shocked me to be honest. I'm like, X? Seriously? Okay, well good that that relationship ended. This relationship must not have been healthy, honestly. Man... What exactly was his proof though that Me. <laughs> what exactly was this proof that Gino was the one who told people that he cheated on the exam? Arthur, I would like your sources as to why you think that Gino was the one who told people that he cheated on the exam. Yes, I would like it in um, APA format. You know, started out with the Arthur. Started out with the author, <laughs> and then the date, and then the title of your source. That'll be good. Thank you. And also include in-text citation, please, Arthur. Muay Thai. I remember when I learned Muay Thai for the first time. I don't want to do it again, honestly. Right, I remember. Gino wants to go into this field. You do you. You pursue what you want to do, Gino. Hey, Chris! But, oh! Oh! I was about to say, first of all... Fork. I was about to say how nice it is that Chris is there, but also, could this ship actually start to develop in this moment here? Could we see this ship happening now? I thought it was gonna- <sighs> Real smooth, Tongfa. Right, that is also true. He didn't mention that to his teacher. What does he want to do in the future? I mean, he likes music, doesn't he? That could be something he can work with. I believe in you, Chris. I believe in you. I like to think of myself as a paper in these situations for doing homework. Then I end up becoming a Chris. Gosh. We have the president of the student council right here, y'all. We don't want anything. Yeah, Arthur. Yeah! Why do I feel like there's gonna be more to Chris's backstory than we're seeing right now? Anyways, moving away from the cuteness. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're gonna be learning more about Chris later on in this series. I feel like there's something about him that we are going to learn down the road. Hello, Nier! Did the cute guy from the last episode arrive? Oh no, did he break up? Ah! Oh, broken glass. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't see in the part one. Okay, looks like it's gonna be with these two. Near and. What's his name? M. I feel like I'm gonna be using that whenever a new series comes up. I just have my drama list up as my little cheat sheet for the character names. Punch. Left. I'm recording, right? Yep. I thought you just next move. <laughs> Chris, are you enjoying yourself? Having fun there, Chris? Is he learning it for self-defense against the bullies? I imagine if that's the case. He's been bullied so much. I feel like he's learning Muay Thai because he wants to know how to self-defend. 
Wow, such a gentleman. that encounter in the bathroom. Chris did save him from the bullies in the last episode. Again, unless there's more to that that we're gonna be learning down the road. I am liking this development already. They are so Bye-bye. I've been watching Fish Up on the Sky and oh my gosh. Monuments. Bye-bye. What do you want? Hmm. Arthur's expression in that scene. Anyways... That kind of reminds me of the exam. I already went through it, but I don't want to remember it, paper. That's what you call a good friend. On your lips just leave it If you don't mean it Is that a Forrest Gump poster? Oh, Titanic poster as well. Oh, first of all, La La Land poster. Also, who is he talking to? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Why did I? Wait, the nickname. Do they know they're talking to each other, or is that like just their nicknames for each other that they set online or something? I'll go with the first one for now. Maybe. His heart's beating so fast, he fell for someone. <laughs> nope. His lips are reserved for paper. I fell for someone. <laughs> Did you? Tell me more! Why did I immediately think of Nub Sib and Jean? Then again, furthers my theory. Maybe that's why he wants to learn Muay Thai. Oh, look at him getting defensive over his boy. Look at this dude. So, do you all have content for your BL novels now? So, the girl is Gino. The brother is. They said Geno. So, I'll, I'll say how they said Geno. <laughs> News spreads fast. How did y'all hear this? <laughs> She's being protective, so fair enough. How or did you hear this? Who this? Who this? What is he giving? Oh. Ah. Uh. Just the man you were looking for. Jeno, please don't say he didn't. No, you can say it. Bruh. Oh man. Arthur. At least he's grounded for a month. Dang, we're in part four already. Thank you. Bye bye. You really like him, don't you? Chris. <laughs> He's thirsty. You nasty. <laughs> yeah, please come in, Chris. Please come in. It really hurts the mark behind the gun. Okay, Chris. like their development this episode. <laughs> we know it's not nothing, Dogfa. We know it's not nothing. Uh -huh. 
Oh, it was this scene from the preview, and I was like, okay. Man. Okay, give me the preview. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Man! Also, we have yet to see this scene again pop up, and I'm not sure when it will come up. By the time I'm recording this, the series had already ended, so I'm really just trying to catch up right now. So, uh, yeah. So that was episode 2 of Second Chance. Let me just talk about the development we were able to get between Chris and Jeno. Man, they're gonna be so cute, I can already feel it. At the same time, I'm also feeling that there's gonna be more backstory that is gonna unravel between these two. Specifically with Chris. Like from the last episode, we saw that Chris is still unsure about what he wants to do when he's in college or pretty much what he wants to do for his future. And then there was the scene in this episode wherein he mentioned that he already met Jeno before and then he had already brought him home before, so I was like, oh, Okay, there was clearly some sort of history between these two that Chris was able to remember but for some reason Jeno doesn't now. A little bit of a Jean and Nubsip thing if you guys watched Lovely Writer. But yeah, now Chris likes Jeno. But other than that, I'm curious to see how their story is gonna unravel for us. Another thing I really liked with this episode is the punishment that Arthur was able to get. Yes, we don't need any of that bullying here, please. Read the many anti-bullying signs, Arthur. Oh, and then we got to the main couple, which is Tongfa and Paper. I'm not really sure too much on what to say between the two of them, but right now my mindset is trying to think about their characteristics and their dynamic between each other. Because to me, it's really looking like Tongfa is, you know, a nice guy and he wants to do well, but he's not really as serious with his studies comparing to his friend Paper, wherein yeah, he's really focused on his studies and I can tell him that he really wants all both of his friends to do really well. And he's really focused on just wanting to do well in his studies and be able to pass the exam and go to college. But I don't know, something about that bike scene, just I was like, oh, there's something I'm not getting, but mm, I'm not sure what it is. We'll have to see in the next episode. This series is honestly something I feel like I could be analyzing a lot though. Because I'm not sure how other people who watch this series feel, but to me this series is giving us possibilities of more three-dimensional characters and then each of them are gonna be having their own backstory. But it's not becoming like the case with other series. I would usually end up getting bored with the other characters and just want to focus on the main. With Second Chance series, I feel like I really want to learn more about every single one of the characters and how they're going to be developing as as these episodes go on and I'm looking forward to seeing that so that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this episode all my social media links will be in the description box below same goes with the links to all the episodes please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and as always I'll see you guys in the next video whenever I could possibly make one Goodbye.